Okay, so I appreciate some of you will have a lot of uh, search data. So I wanted to do a, a quick video on how to use Excel to find your uh, top and bottom performers uh, to optimize your bids within AdWords. So I'm currently looking at the search queries report. And what we want to do here is click on customize and essentially create our version of the search queries report. That looks like this. So we get rid of all the excess that we don't need. Um, what I like here is clicks, cost, CPC, per session value. So we get rid of this lot. Uh, E-commerce conversion rates, all right. We can use that to, um, I'll show you why we keep that in uh, when we go to the spreadsheet. We don't necessarily need transactions and we don't need cold conversion rate. What we do want is to add per session value for e-commerce and I would put that we can rearrange it in Excel of course but put it in there so because we're editing the uh, search query report we get all the uh, filters and secondary dimension drill downs that we that we need so we can literally give this a name so we'll just call it quickly well whatever you can give it a better name um, save it wait for it to load and so we've now got all the search queries data that we had on the standard report but with our columns for example take 50 rows of data then if we go to the top and export and you can do google sheet uh, i use excel so excel uh, file let's open this up apologies if you can hear my mouse clicking it's very loud okay so we have our spreadsheet and what we can do in here is let me just sort these columns I like a little bit of space a bit of breathing room um, to see where I'm going and what we'll do is fix the we'll freeze the top row and then I'm going to put a little equation in a, a return on ad spend equation at the end or OAS which is essentially your um, revenue divided by your cost so equals sum revenue column divided by cost column double click to send that downstream so this is revenue divided by cost essentially and this will give your ratio so three to one five to one hundred to one wherever it may be and that directly correlates to a percentage of course so three to one is a 300 percent return on investment so what I would do is turn this into a table so we can easily and quickly sort it. So insert table it should automatically select the data because it's uh, clever like that. I prefer gray on gray. I mean, you, you choose whatever table format you like, but some of the colors are garish. And we also want to put conditional formatting on, which will help us see. And we want that to be the priority. So let's put some conditional formatting on the cost per click column. And we want an inverse low being green, red being high on CPC. We want to do the same, but a standard green high, red low on uh, per session value. And then finally, the column that we added in, the ROAS, the return on ad spend, we want to do that as well. Put a, a nice green to red column in there. So what can we see here? Well, let's sort by cost first and foremost where are we spending the most money and getting the the best return or worst on our ad spend now you can see straight away because we've added some color coded uh, opinions here a bit of conditional formatting and the ROAS column that our biggest spending keyword or sh should I say search query in this account is actually underperforming this account should be in the region of five to one so we can see straight away we've got some problems here so how would I tackle this? Well, first of all, I would probably avoid spending so much money on that search term, or I would try and bid it down to see if it's still res responsive. So drop the bid here, it's 31 pence, drop it down to early 20s, uh, which should, by my very quick calculation looking at the screen, bring it into the sort of five to one range in terms of ROI. But it's not all bad news. We've got a high per session value, um, fifth down, which is considerably higher than most of the uh, cells around it. And its ROI is uh, 7.94, which is comfortably above and beyond uh, where we need it to be. So 
first of all, is, is it a keyword in the account? And secondly, can it be given more budget to be given more freedom to, to spend money in and generate that positive ROI? And the same can be said as we scroll further down. You'll see some heavy red items. They need to be squashed, essentially. Those search terms simply aren't performing. So they should be negative keywords um, in these campaigns that they're in. Again, it's a, a business decision. So you look at these search terms relative to your business and see where are they important or are they not. But at this point in time, they're spending money and not generating uh, any return for you. There are lots of lower spending keywords down here that aren't necessarily long, ter uh, long tail either. So we've got um, a good selection of keywords here in these lower regions that are delivering ROI from sort of 5, 10, up to 40, even 80 times uh, ROI there. Oh, crikey, there's one that's 137 times ROI. So it's not spent a lot of money, but that needs looking at and given uh, some budget. I mean, look at how low the cost per click is. So that immediately tells me that that, that search query could be released if it was given a higher bid and spent more money. And ultimately, with a, such a strong return on ad spend number, even with a higher bid, you'll highly likely stay within a profitable window with that one. So scrolling back up, like I said before, people who optimize to conversion rates are missing a trick and potentially costing themselves money. So the very top keyword in this list has a, a what you'd consider a very handsome uh, conversion rate of 8.72%. That's a really good conversion rate. But because of the nature of the product, the return on ad spend is pretty rubbish. So if you were just optimizing on conversion rates alone, you'd probably be focusing a bit more attention on, on that particular search query and you'd be wrong to do so. Hence, we like to look at these other numbers. So I hope that's really helped. Obviously, to keep a bit of sanity in this, you can tailor your reports per campaign or ad group if you've got larger accounts um, to pull off your entire search query list for the past three, six months or whatever it may be would be quite cumbersome. So, you know, do it campaign on campaign, but you will absolutely find some benefits in doing so, especially with the simple conditional formatting. It just helps you highlight potential pitfalls uh, and potential profitable areas. So yeah, apply that to your own metrics and search queries and uh, happy digging for gold.